I maybe see if I can start flooding it a little bit more forward, maybe. Like, hopefully, maybe trim it forward. I'm not sure, though. Okay, the lifeboat is touching the water, and that's a bad thing. Uh-oh, bad things oh, are happening. It's, it's going down. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are back in Stormworks and we're going to be boarding the SS Auckland. This is a very detailed steamship and I'm joined by Jake Hillen. Now we're going to be doing something a little bit unconventional. Usually I just sink the ship and that would be the video. But today we're going to try to save the ship. I've done this once more with Jake Hillen. That actually worked out super well. You can find that video in the top right corner. But We've got a much larger ship today, and it also has a random sinking mechanism, so this will be really cool. Alright, so here we are on board. Jay Killen, I can only assume you are in the engine room or the boiler room right now setting things up. Yeah. So do you want to explain how you actually start up this ship? Uh, yeah, so first we actually have to open these air valves, which I'm doing right now, uh, above the boilers. It basically gives air to the furnaces so they can actually, you know, burn the coal and start producing steam. And then I think next you have to turn on like the condensers and stuff like that. And after that, you just have to wait for steam to build up. Then you can start going. Here's the engine room. You can see it is a uh, two story engine room. You can actually see just outside through the skylight, which is pretty cool. Then we have the boiler room and past there we have the cargo area. So yeah, this should be pretty exciting. Now, does this ship have water pumps or uh, bilge pumps? Yeah, it actually does. I think there's uh, these, I guess, uh, steam powered ones, or you can actually hand crank them too. But you can actually like, uh, you can grab a hose that's like underneath it. And then I guess you could just come in here and just hook it up to like some random, you know, port that's in any of the compartments. So you can actually like pump the water out in like a specified compartment. All right, so I think we should be ready to go. So uh, I'm gonna go back up to the bridge and uh, get us moving. All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and let's get this thing going. So we'll crank the telegraph ahead. And there we go. The other telegraph has ordered back and full ahead. So. We are about to get moving. All right, so we'll walk around the ship, take a bit of a tour, and then we'll, of course, start sinking it and then try to save it. So first here we have the deck and we've got some cargo holds and we can actually unlock those, but we should probably keep them locked for, uh, well, safety reasons. We have a hatch down here, which leads into the boiler room, which is pretty cool. Going this way, we've got the front of the ship. We've got some rope storage and then another skylight because there's one over the engine room so that is pretty much the main deck now let's go down below and see what else there is to offer and there's a door right here to uh bring us down into the ship here we have a traditional boarding door so there you go you can board the ship from a gangway we've got some nice decorative interiors and then we have some more traditional metal wall and uh bulkhead interiors here here we have the top of the engine room just in front of that is the boiler room once again and I'll go back through here. Going past that, we've got a dining room. Looks very nice. We've got some open doors with uh, what looks to be a coal chute. And that is actually really cool to see because usually you won't see these on some builds. But there's been an effort made here to put them in, which is very nice. I really do appreciate that. We have another gangway door, which doesn't seem to work right now. Might be locked. And then uh, we've got a seat here. And uh, then we have what looks to be a kitchen or a stove of some sorts. Going around to the other side, pretty much the same. We've got some firefighting equipment and we have some cabins. Here we have a fake door, so these are just simply decorative. And then we have the windless room, right? Uh, yeah, if it's in the, basically in the bow part, you know, near where the anchors are, um, it should be, I guess, engines that connect to, which are called the windlasses, which basically controls, you know, the chains and like allows the chains to, you know, rope out and drop down the anchor and can reel them back up. Yeah, that's definitely what this room is because it has controls for the anchor. All right, so we're back at the stairs and uh, here we are in a cargo hold. Looks like there's a tank down there, which looks pretty cool. Let's actually go down. So here we have the propeller shaft, which actually rotates. That is really cool. Oh, this seems to be the freshwater tank. We can go a little further back and then we have the... Uh, rudder room so this is really cool and i almost missed this base on the other side of the kitchen area we have this room not sure exactly what it is it might be a prep room for food and a stair that leads down now this goes into where the boiler rooms are and where there's storage for food and uh, beverages so yeah i think that covers most of the ship 
I may have missed a space, but we might find it later. So, uh, yeah. And it's funny I said that because I just found a bit of interior I missed. And this is right on the deck. And it's definitely a crew space. Here we have the wireless room and the silent room. And then we have a room of some sorts that looks like a navigation room. And then a bedroom. Alright, so here are the sink keys. We've got random sink and lore sink. For this video, we're going with random sink because it just randomly floods a compartment. So, here we go. Oh, yeah, we, uh, it's one of the aft compartments. I saw, like, a little bit of splashing in the floor for a second. All right, so what do you want me to do? Stop the ship or order the ship to be stopped? Uh, what should we do? I'd say we wait a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go down and inspect the flooding. Oh, yeah, we're starting to get water in here now. Oh, really? Oh, It's basically goodness. the very rear one. All right. I will seal that compartment off. There we go. I'm going to get the bilge pumps uh, activated. All right. That would be uh, very good. I will help as well. Okay. So Do we I have to have open to this. Uh, we just, uh, yeah, we have to open the steam valve first. So yeah, it gets the piston moving and then you just grab a hose and then just bring it into one of the uh, ports in here. Oh my gosh. The and flooding it is should start really pumping bad. it out basically. Now, do you think we should make a break for land? Uh, that'd probably be the best bet. All right, sounds good. Let me go ahead and open up the map and uh, see where the nearest land is. I'm assuming it would be over there. Actually, I do see land. No need to open the map. I'm just going to turn that way. Yeah, it should be to our port side to the left. Yes, that's the way I'm turning. And I can actually see the ship is now visibly leaning towards the stern. Yeah, luckily, I think the water might almost be equalized. Like oh, it's maybe a, like in terms of like the interior flooding, it's maybe a good uh, few blocks underneath the waterline. All right, we are now heading in the general direction of the island. I'm going back down to take a look at the flooding. Yeah, I'm gonna go through one of the uh, overhead parts. Yeah, that if would I be can. good. Yeah, just I don't go think through there's these actually doors. a door. Uh, there yeah, we go. Right yeah, right over here. This one's okay. Oh my yeah, goodness! It's starting to reach up here. Well, goodbye, Jake Helen. The one concerning bit is that it's starting to flood in the very back. So that might tip it down even more. So that is a little bit concerning. Can we shut those doors? Uh, the, they're not closable. They're like oh, fake doors. I see. Yeah, yeah, I'm walking through an area right now that has those. Yeah, because it, it's flooding the steering gear room and stuff. Water's actually well. Oh, gosh. Yeah, uh, it's probably going to go down. Yeah, we're starting to lean over to the uh, starboard side. So I'm going to get the boats ready. Okay, an idea I'm going to do, I'm going to start flooding the forward compartment because maybe that'll help alleviate some of the weight. Yeah, that might actually make the ship a little more stable because we are rocking left to right a little more than usual. Yeah, one thing I'm actually like utilizing a bit, I'm allowing some water to flood into the engine room because since the build trumps have like an additional port that doesn't need like a hose, it'll start pumping out water from the actual bilge pump. So that technically doubles the rate of, I guess, pumping, I guess, if that makes sense. Yeah, I see. That is a really good idea. So I'm trying to, like, alleviate some of the water by, like, just allowing it to flood some. Yeah. And then closing it and allowing the boiler room pumps to pump it out. I'm going to have to say you're going to need to abandon your post because this is getting pretty serious now. I'll maybe see if I can start flooding it a little bit more forward, maybe. Like, hopefully, maybe trim it forward. I'm not sure, though. Okay, the lifeboat is touching the water, and that's a bad thing. Uh-oh, bad oh, things are happening. It's going me. down. I need to get out. I need to get out. Oh, my gosh. I didn't have time to release the boat. It's going down with the ship. It's going completely uh, vertical. I'm yeah, still the inside. bow's coming right out of the water. Something must have gave way, because that is crazy. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try to release the boat. I got to go quick. There we go. Released it. It's floating up. Well, that was very disastrous. Yeah, I heard doors open, so I think it just opened all of the doors, like, in the compartments and just let it drop. Yeah, maybe simulating a bulkhead failure, but that was really cool. You know, we should do this again and see what other type of random sync we get. All right, so here we are back in the silent room, and, uh, there we go. Random sync has been activated, and now we'll see what happens. Oh, we got water. Oh, where uh, is it? Forward, forward port, uh, cargo hold. Okay. Go in there right now. Oh Please my gosh, that is valve. a lot of water. Holy cow. Okay, is there any port in here to like actually like pump it out? I don't know. Yeah, I think the best thing to do is to let it flood a bit into the boiler room just so that we have somewhere to pump the water out. Yeah, good idea. All right, you know what? I'm going to go back up to the bridge and I am going to get the ship turning in a direction where we're going to head towards land. 
One thing I'm curious about is if there's more hoses anywhere, because hypothetically, there's two ports on each uh, bilge pump that you can hook hoses to. So I could, like, if there are more hoses somewhere, I could, like, I could hook up more bilge pumps. Yeah, that is true. I may have to look Like, I wonder if that. there's, like, a, a maintenance lock or something somewhere. Oh, hold on. What did I just find here? Oh, I found a hatch that goes down into one of the starboard side cargo areas. Okay, so it does look like the water's slowly increasing. I'm going to close this just so that it allows the water to pump out. Because we don't want the boilers to, you know, the fireboxes to die. Because steam is like our life. Like, we need steam. All right, I'm back on the bridge. And this is definitely feeling like a Britannic situation. Because the bow is just barely about to drop under the water. We are moving forward and water is literally lapping over the bow. Oh, get out. Get out right now. What? Abandoned ship. Oh, yeah, I heard, uh, wait, no, that was the that lifeboat, was right? Okay. All right, yeah, we need to abandon okay, ship right now. Yeah, she's going. What was that? All right, getting up the stairs. All right, I'm coming out. All right, here we go. Oh, it's, like, starting to roll almost. Started listing quite a bit. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Yeah, I knew. As soon as I saw the bow drop, it was safer to just abandon ship than to save it. Yeah. Which is really unfortunate. We tried to save the ship. But at this point, it just, it cannot be saved. Yeah, it's going vertical. Well, we made a valiant effort for sure to try to save the ship. Well, you did as the engineer on board. Really try to keep it afloat. Wow, it is plunging. Holy cow. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the Carpathia. Well then, that was pretty cool. If you want to try this for yourself, a download link will be in the description. Let me know if you're able to save it. We weren't able to, but it certainly was, as I mentioned, very cool. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see y'all next time, guys. Goodbye.